Ooh, your friendship. Anyways, oh, before I say anything, do you guys notice anything different? Oh yeah, I went rojo. It's red in Spanish for those of you who aren't aware of that. Um, my hair pretty much looks like absolute and complete shit right now. Oh, that's Leah. Hi, Leah. <laughs> oh look, this is my new phone case. Oh shit, this is my new phone case for my iPhone, my phone of I. Hang on a second, I gotta take it. Anyways, so yeah. My hair looks like shit right now because I didn't feel like doing it for this video because it is 5 minutes after 11 p.m. Las Vegas. Well, actually, I don't even live in Vegas. I live in Henderson. So, Henderson time is 11.04 over here on the West Coast. Yeah. Anyway, I don't actually know what I want to make this video about. This is Ellie, by the way. I'm introducing her. This is Ellie. Say hi Ellie. Hi Ellie. Okay. Anyway. So yeah. So my hair looks like shit. This is Ellie. Leah's texting me with my new phone case because it's awesome. And I have no idea what this video is going to be about. Um, Today actually though I was talking to one of my friends that I work with and we were talking about how fucking impossible it is to like impress a guy or whatever not really to impress a guy but like you know how you know when you're stupid and you're in high school you like a guy and like he doesn't know you exist so you hi Leah you but so anyway we were talking about how like it's fucking impossible to impress the guy that you think he doesn't know that you exist. When in fact he does, he just doesn't want to admit it because God only knows why. Boys are fucking idiots, dude. They don't know anything. Well, actually, they're good for lots of stuff like, you know, fixing toilets and whatnot. Don't forget to hate men forever. I'm just kidding. But anyway. We were talking about how fucking impossible it is to impress guys like all you guys out there if you knew what lengths chicks went to to impress your ass you would be like whoa like it's simple all you have to do is have like a a dick and know how to use it the right way it doesn't even like matter how big it is and shit you just have to know how to use it girls on the other hand you know like we like wear makeup and color our hair and wear accessories. This actually is a bracelet that my friend Jordan made me when we were in high school. It's pretty awesome. And this is one of them little rubber band thingies shaped like a cupcake, but they're for like little kids and I'm not a little kid, so it's all like stretched out or whatever. But anyway, so yeah, like girls, they put makeup on, they color their hair funky ass colors and make it look all good and everything like that. Some guys prefer long hair. I have short hair, so fuck you. Um, how I blend into my wall? Oh, bye bye hair. Oh, hello wall. Anyway, so, <laughs> just so everybody's aware, I'm running off for 42 hours without sleep. Well, actually, 2 out of 42 hours, so 40 hours without sleep. I haven't slept in the past, like, 2 days. So I'm, like, delusional, I think. <laughs> the delirium is clearly setting in. But anyways, back on subject here. <laughs> you guys, I don't think you realize how, you know, easy you have it. Like I said, you, you have a dick. That's pretty much your purpose in life is to know how to use your dick to make chicks want to fuck you. Now girls, however, on the other hand, when you look at them, you want to look at them and be like, damn, that bitch could be in a juvenile video. <laughs> I'm going to make it rain on that ass. However, it's not that easy. We have to put on, like, our hot girl costumes and shit because, you know, we don't just naturally fucking wake up like that in the morning. You know, we look like shit in the morning and 
you look like fuck in the morning. Like, our eyelashes aren't just this long every day, and our eyebrows aren't this nice and shapely every day, and our skin doesn't look this good naturally every day when we wake up. We don't smell good when we wake up, you know what I mean? Like, we smell like morning fuck, so we have to take a shower and then abuse the shit out of our hair so it's not all freaking frizzy and shit. So when you look at us, you're not like, what does that bitch have a bird's nest in her hair? Yeah, because guys are judgmental like that. Yeah, most guys, anyway. Oh yeah, and our dresses have to fit, and they have to be too tight in all the right places, and... You know, you guys just make life hard, but this is the lesson to this video for all of you, uh... For all of you females out there. I won't even call you bitches, I'll just call you females. However... <clears throat> this is the lesson for this video is that you don't have to degrade yourself for some dude who doesn't know you exist all you have to do is just be you but that would be asking too much because you know you like you might have feelings and you might get hurt and whatnot but I guess it's too much to ask to just like show up on a date being like completely who you are because you're a sexual object, so you're not allowed to be smart or funny or any of that shit. You gotta sit there and look pretty. That's your job. You're to be looked at. You're to be seen and not heard. You know how parents tell you the kids are to be seen and not heard. It goes the same for women who are dating. And then after you get married, you can let yourself go because he's already married to you. So what the fuck do you have to lose, right? You know what I mean? Like, divorce costs a kajillion and one hundred trillion dollars fuck it and he's just like fuck it and then you have kids and you're fat and they're like fuck and then when you lose your self esteem even though it's called esteem of your motherfucking self in the words of Cat Williams of course cause that's one awesome motherfucker but you start to feel like shit so you go to the gym and you work out and you work out and you work out and you sweat and you work out and you're sore and whatever so you're doing like all these things. You're like juggling kids and then you're like juggling going to the gym and you're like juggling your husband and trying to give him to fuck you again because obviously he doesn't want to fuck you because you've had kids, your vagina's loose and you're fat now, so what the fuck does he need you for? That's what he's got a widescreen TV for. Widescreen TV. So yeah. But and in case you're wondering, when men go blow money on things like that, it's because they don't have a tight vagina anymore. To fuck, anyway. Because men don't have vaginas, they have penises. But anyways. So, I don't know what the hell the point of this video was. <laughs> I just thought it would be comical to share some thoughts with you about this kind of shit because I feel like people should know this shit maybe I could teach you something maybe if you look for the deeper meaning within the video you know you could like learn some shit and pass it on or something I don't know but I am fucking tired it is a quarter after eleven and I think I'm gonna go to sleep cause Leah is yelling at me via text message oh okay so look at this shit but before I go I, when I got my iPhone, it was just like when I got my tongue pierced, like when I got my tongue pierced, I like bought so many fucking tongue rings, it was outrageous, I bought all these tongue rings and I bought packages every time I went somewhere that involved having jewelry around, I had to buy tongue rings, like at Walmart and stuff and, and like the mall. Cause I work in the mall and so I got this iPhone cause I wanted a phone of I so I got one and yeah I want to show you guys my iPhone case collection hold on Okay. Oh, geez, pardon me. Okay. So. 
firstly one that I ordered. The very first phone case I got when I got my iPhone was this one. And it's purple with hearts stuff. Good stuff. And there's a little hole for the camera right there. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And then I don't remember. Where did my phone of I go? But I don't remember what the second one I got. I think this was the second one I got actually. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> and as you can tell, I'm clearly obsessed with things that sparkle really brightly. Ooh, I just got this one. And then actually, yesterday I was trying to put my OtterBox on it on my phone because I wanted to switch from this one to my otter box and I broke it taking it off my phone but like when you put it on my phone and all the corners snap you can't really tell it's broken because it's pretty much held together by itself because you like have to snap this shit shut and it secures itself so it's not even like I fucking broke it because it fixed itself so problem fucking solved you can't even tell it's broken oh no this phone case actually I'm kinda really gonna like really rave about this one because it's awesome this is actually what is called a Mophie and this thing right here as you can see on the inside of it right there that's a battery that's where you plug your iPhone in. Oh wait, wrong direction. Okay, right there is my um, inlet for my charger. This is an external battery. So whenever your phone dies, like that means my Mophie is charged. So like I could put my iPhone in my Mophie phone case, and it would be charging right now if my Mophie was on. And actually, the Mophie has an on-off switch right there and then that is the charger inlet for the Mophie because you put the phone in the Mophie and you put the Mophie on the charger and it charges your phone and your Mophie so when your phone dies you turn your Mophie on like that to where the thing is green because when it's off it's not green it's rojo like my hair but yeah it's a pretty cool device and then I have like my my otter boxes and stuff like this was my first otter box it's awesome and that's for the big old cause like you know how on the back of iPhones they have like the apple sign and you can like see the apple sign through that hole and I actually have another one too that I was trying to put together earlier because I took it off my phone and oh that's how that works okay thank you retard these things are so hard to put together they're fucking complicated or maybe I'm just not savvy with this kind of bullshit but I am totally obsessed with iPhone cases because there's so fucking many of them and like I only have the iPhone 3GS because I didn't really care which iPhone I had as long as I had an iPhone and so that's why I have an iPhone but yeah these are my uh, body armors or otter boxes whichever one you uh, want to call them is cool because either way somebody's going to know what you're talking about and this one's purple and black this one's purple and white. This is the one I was using on my phone last night. And actually I like these because they're really good. They bounce. Whoops. So when you drop them, they bounce and your phone doesn't get damaged. So these are like really good to have. If you're, you know, biking, hiking, fucking exercising, why would you do that? And then I have this one, which actually came with a car charger adapter. You stick it into your lighter pull. And then you, there's the inlet. And you charge the other end to your phone, obviously. 
and this is my plastic hard case zebra case and the only reason that I have this I wouldn't have bought this on its own but it came with this so I was like why the fuck not and it was like four dollars with free shipping on amazon.com which is actually where I got all of these crazy ass fucking phone cases with sparkles and hearts and mopies and otter boxes and I have one more actually and I'm actually waiting for two in the mail I ordered one for my manager that is the exact same one as this this one goes on the front of the phone and this one goes on the back of the phone and that's this pink part right here in the middle actually disconnects it's a three piece um, phone case see like this disconnects which I don't know why because then it looks like that and I don't know why you would just want that on your phone I think it obviously it looks better with this on it but yeah I bought my manager one just like this it was seriously two dollars with free shipping there was no shipping and this one was three dollars with no shipping so I mean like they're pretty fucking cheap on amazon.com so go on amazon.com and buy yourself some fucking iPhone cases I don't care if you have an iPhone or not just go fucking buy one anyway I have eight iPhone cases and I'm waiting for another one in the mail and I'm pretty sure it's not the last one I'm ever going to get because I'm obsessed with Amazon but anyway so I just I just wanted to show you guys that stuff this one's Okay. Anyway. Um yeah. Cause I gotta go to sleep. I look like shit. Feel like shit. My eyeballs starting to water. I have false eyelashes on, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna start coming off if they haven't already and I just didn't notice. <clears throat> so yeah. I'm gonna be like Chris Brown now and chuck up those deuces. And then I'm be like Tiger and rap and shit but I'm too white for all that so I'm just not going to so I lied basically so okay bye